Hey, what's going on guys? I just wanted to do a little preface for this video by clearing up some things that I talk about in the video. So I want to start off by saying I have been reading your comments on the uh, the past uh, Let's Play videos. And um, yeah, so I haven't gotten the sponges and like the other gold blocks and like all the prismarine blocks from the sea temple yet. Uh, this episode was actually recorded like, I want to say maybe four days ago. Uh, I just got around to editing it, so... Uh, in this episode, we do not go to the Sea Temple and, like, uh, collect all that stuff. I'll do that next episode, but I just wanted to say that uh, I have been reading your comments, and I do know, but uh, we won't be doing that this episode. And I also wanted to clear up some things about uh, this thing I build in this episode. Um, I originally got my idea from, for, like, the little bookshelf minecart thing that I do in this episode uh, from someone called Russell Crafter. Uh, I googled it on YouTube, and then I found his video... I saw it and I was like, oh, this is pretty cool. And then I Googled some more and then I found a Thinks video where he does pretty much what I do. Um, so yeah, I saw his video and then I was like, oh, this is a better idea. Uh, they basically had the same idea, so I used Thinks idea. So yeah, I just wanted to clear up some credit there in case anyone was like, you stole blah, blah, blah's idea and you, you stole blah, blah, blah's idea. Uh, so yeah, all the ideas I will be, or like all the builds that I do, uh, the inspiration, and uh, what I took from it, I'll leave in the description below so you can check out the original video. Um, but that's about it. I've been uh, talking for long enough. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you do, uh, make sure to hit that like button. Uh, took a lot of time to build all this stuff here. But uh, again, hope you guys enjoy it. And I'll see you in the next episode where I finally go to that sea temple. Hey, what's going on everyone? Punchy here. And welcome back to my survival let's play. Like always, uh, I've worked very, very hard over the past couple of days. Just working, slaving away. And everything there is to do so you'll notice first off this thing looks a little different it's not a, a two by two door anymore it's a one by one and the inside looks a little different so before we head into there I actually need some food really really bad so let me actually eat some steak um all my stuff is up there and so I apologize for their really messy inventory well you guys can probably assume what I've been uh, working on and stuff uh, let me toss oh uh, power to I'll keep that why not I have also moved a lot of the stuff from our, like, creative house down here. So I brought all the emeralds, the gold, the gold, gold, the gold, the gold. So I think we can craft all of this into blocks. We can get a nice, uh, steady supply of blocks, blocks, blocks. I also moved the dragon egg into here, and that's pretty much it. I left the armor as it is, so I haven't tried repairing it yet. And yeah, so let's head in here. I'm going to back up slowly into it. So you guys can kind of see what I did. I added a, a stair thing up here. I don't know. It, I thought it looked kind of cool. Um, because of the design in there, uh, the stone bricks here are subject to change, though. So everything in this room is, it, it might be changed. I don't know. But if we backtrack up into here, you'll notice a lot of bookshelves and another one of these stair things. I might as well just show you guys. So this is what I did. Uh, you guys can see it looks a lot better than it used to. It looks a heck of a ton better. Um... You might be wondering where I got all these bookshelves. Basically, uh, I just like ravaged the stronghold. I ravaged the villages. Uh, so we have three villages, I think, that we have in this world that were decent. So I soak touched all the bookshelves and then I went in the stronghold because I was like, wait, the stronghold has like stacks and stacks of bookshelves. So I went to the stronghold and uh, I basically ravaged it. So we took all of these bookshelves and I still have... Yeah, a ton left, I think, in this chest. We have a stack of 64 left. And I do need to repair, like, uh, my pickaxes. Because they're, like, so about to break. Uh, okay, that's not going to work out too well. Uh, yeah, it has, like, 40 uses left. So, yeah, didn't uh, it did not work out too well. And this block, the, uh, the diorite block here, is where I'm going to put a beacon. So, I've been thinking about where I might want one of my... Uh, like my future base, like my actual base I'm going to build in survival. I kind of want it in this area. I, I don't know why. I kind of want an underground base. Because there's, there's just no room up there. You, there's, there's no room, especially after what I just did uh, last night. There's no room up there. It's like our farms and everything just take up all the space up there. So we're going to have an underground base. It's going to be really nice. It's um, And we're just going to have a beacon probably shine up through the ground. And like this, I think that would look pretty cool. This is like pretty much the center of the room. And I don't know, we'll probably put like little tables here or something to make it look like an actual library. Because I put like lamps up here. I don't know, kind of like lights on top of a building. I don't know. 
Uh, but the coolest thing, and this is subject to change as well, uh, but the coolest thing by far is not the redstone lamps, it's not the glowstone, but check it out. Ooh! Mm, no mods either, we're playing on sweet, sweet snapshots. So you might be wondering, how the heck do you have... How would you open this bookshelf? Teach me. So, um, I actually saw a video on YouTube. Um, I forget. I think it had like a thousand views. I'll put it in the description below. I forget uh, who the channel was by. Uh, but basically, they implemented this thing where you can put a minecart, like a minecart chest, uh, into an actual bookshelf. So when you actually right-click on the bookshelf, it opens the chest, and then you can rename it whatever you want. And you can actually put your, like enchanted things inside so I thought this was really really cool so uh, you have to make one of these uh, minecart chests they're fairly expensive you have to use a, a good supply of iron so I have been using some iron here um, and you have to use a lot of wood which I don't have a lot of uh, but I think we're gonna put this one uh, maybe right here I think on the side maybe would be good um, actually yeah, we'll put it on the side. Uh, everything behind this thing is so ugly. Everything behind all this uh, good-looking stuff is really, really ugly. So I do excuse me, but if we go down here and if I silk touch this, this is actually our like like our abandoned mine shaft ladder. So that's why I decided I might as well just like make a thing down here, like a base down here. I don't know. <laughs> I thought it'd be kind of cool. But yeah, everything down here is just a mess. So uh, just ignore all the every everything that's here. Just ignore, ignore. So what you want to do uh, is you want to grab some rails. So I took all these rails from like a mine shaft in this general vicinity as well. I think there's one like right there. There's one like right there. So I, I took it from there a couple episodes ago. So what you want to do is place it like this. So uh, the mine carts or or the rails oriented in like the vertical direction, and you want to break this one. And then what you want to do, and you want to be very, very careful about this, is to uh, put the minecart here and then like push it. Here's, it should, yeah, just like push it. And I, it messed up. It messed up. Okay, so we place this here, and you, you want to push it. Come on, come on, get, get back into position, buddy. I got it. I don't think it really matters which direction it's facing. But what you want to do is you want to like slide it into uh, whatever slot you want it to be in. And then you want to like lock it in, kind of just like push it in. And then grab a bookshelf and like completely lock it in, just like, it's, it's not going anywhere now. And now what you want to do is you want to place any block here. I'm going to use dirt instead actually, because this is harder to break. Uh, well, you can put dirt, whatever, and then put a regular piston. Uh, let's see if we can place this here correctly. Nope. Okay, so it looks like we're going to have to break uh, this bookshelf here momentarily so what you want to do is place like a piston um face no i didn't do this right <laughs> uh place a bookshelf sorry guys uh bookshelf bookshelf place a bookshelf like right in front of it like that and then you want to place whatever there and then you place the piston here and you want to put a lever so i'm just going to go grab the lever that we have right here because i'm cheap like that so grab a lever or any kind of redstone output and put it right here and then let's put a, uh, a bookshelf right here again. So the minecart completely locked in. It's not going anywhere. And just flip, flip the lever. And then the piston will uh, push the bookshelf like kind of into the minecart. You can see that it's kind of like, I don't know, it's indented. And it just l let the minecart kind of like sink into the bookshelf. Because I, I noticed that earlier. It kind of like sinks uh, half a block into the bookshelf. And then you can just start uh, dismantling everything, just break everything with your bare, bare hand. So just break everything. You can uh, place everything down. That, that was already here. Just, you know, everything's good to go. And then, now when you open this, it's a secret bookshelf. So that's pretty much it. It's not uh, exceptionally difficult, but it's a pretty cool functionality that you can uh, just do in your own world, you know? It's cool, it's like a secret bookshelf with you can like put anything in it. You don't have to put just books in it. You can put a uh, jungle wood. You can put anything in it. It's really, really cool. So I don't know. Let me guys. Let me know. Let, let me guys. <laughs> let me know what you guys think about this room. It's still subject to change. I don't really like this roof design here, but I think it looks all right. It's, it doesn't look too bad. You know, I, I initially had this idea of like a sloping upwards kind of enchanting table. 
Because I don't know, I had the idea of kind of like a King Arthur's Excalibur type of thing. So like Glowstone, you go up and it's like a holy altar or something. So I don't know, I thought it was kind of cool. And then when you want to enchant, you can just like drag books from the uh, the bookshelves. So that's really, really cool, I think. So, and we can get rid of all these like ugly chests. We can put uh, all these books like around the bookshelves. So it's it's really nice. I think it's a great addition, and I think it'll it'll uh, it'll fit nicely. So now let's head up for the second part of this episode. So I've been working very very hard on this. Um, again, I saw this. I think I think it was from a cube cube episode. Um, so I'll put the oh god that uh, chunk lag. The the chunks aren't loading correctly. Uh, okay, there we go. Reloaded the chunks. Okay. So uh, yeah, I actually saw it from a cube video because, you, you know, I suck at red stuff, so I had to get some kind of inspiration. So, uh, just took a sip of water there. So I, been, I, I was slaving away last night at this uh, automatic sugarcane farm. So that's why I've been farming so many slime, uh, slime balls and slime blocks. Uh, I used a lot of it on sticky pistons until I realized you didn't really need sticky pistons. So about 15. 15 I want to say 15 or 8 slime balls were wasted on sticky pistons because I had a couple sticky pistons before from our uh, old slime or sugarcane farm so we have seven slime balls left over and we have four slime box slime blocks left over and this is the farm so we use uh, a lot of slime blocks actually so that's why that's why I wanted uh, to farm slime so much so yeah this is what it looks like so the basic gist of it and I've been uh, just mining away here uh, at the dirt. So if we get up here, it's the redstone's fairly easy. It's not exceptionally hard to under understand. Basically, this thing here, I, I like to call it a sensor. It's, it's kind of like a it's like a sensor. It's basically what it is. And we're going to need one sugar cane, though. So let's grab one. And it's completely automatic, so I can just like chill here. And it'll, um, it'll farm out by itself. So if we head up here... Uh, I don't know, some people call it a bud switch, I just call it a sensor. So basically you have a sticky piston here with a slime block, um, a redstone block. I don't really know what the obsidian does, I just copied the design. I don't know, it works alright. <laughs> so um, yeah, this is kind of like a sensor. So any block that's around or touching this sticky piston will cause all the slime blocks here to retract. So if I place a uh, sugar cane right here, uh, this thing will go up and everything will push off. So if I try to do that again here with all the uh, sugarcane flowing down the water into the hoppers. Um, if I try to do this again here, I'll just take the 10. And if we go on over here. So um, yeah, it's only this one. It's, it's this one sugarcane that's the sensor. So once this one grows to three high, this one pushes up and everything just pushes out. So I don't really know why these, these aren't working. I might have to uh, check the redstone here because I think it doesn't go that far. Um, but other than that, it works really nicely. It works really well. The hopper works, I think. Yeah, the hopper should work. So um, yeah, it works really, really well. I really like the design. See, it's stackable. So this is the most I could do at the moment. But uh, once I get to farm more slime blocks and stuff, we can stack it higher and higher and higher and higher. So I'm going to see why that part doesn't work. Hold on. If we grow this, yeah, it doesn't push out all the way to here. So I might have to get that checked. I don't know why it's not pushing it up to here. That's odd, actually. Success! I got it working. I got it working. So the problem was that uh, I, th I don't think there was enough slime blocks. I was missing two. And then the edges here were touching the slime block. So it added more weight <laughs> to, the, to the slime block, if you so say. Because uh, they can only push 11 blocks, I think. So now if we grow up to the whole thing extends so now it works very very well only issue I have again is like we lose one sugar cane every single time but I guess that's all right it's just one so yeah it's filling up nicely here I really like it it's completely automatic so I don't have to like come up here and slave away every single time now um, but yeah we got to fix fix this thing up here it's pretty ugly at the moment uh, the outside but I'm working on it it's, it's all about the efficiency and we can just sit here and collect it we can actually probably collect it if we did that too so let me get rid of this jungle wood here let's put a dirt block yeah we can collect it like that that's nice okay so that's actually going to be the end of the episode um i didn't do all that much well actually i did do a lot i did a lot but like in terms of like minute wise i didn't do too much um but uh, i did work very very hard so a, a like would be very very appreciated 
Um, I'm trying to do a lot of stuff off camera because I don't know. I feel like building on camera is just not fun to watch. Honestly, I feel like a lot of you guys just like to see the end product, what you actually worked on. And so this took about a well, because I don't sit here and do it like hour to hour. I work like I work for like one hour, and I gotta go do something, and then I come back and work on it again. So I can't really say how long it actually took because it it wasn't like a one sitting type of deal. It was like multiple sittings, um, but. I actually forgot to mine out a lot of the wet sponges from the from the seed temple, so I got to go do that later. Uh, I completely forgot. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, again, if you did, make sure to hit that like button. I got to go mine out and make the top look a little, a lot more, a lot prettier. <laughs> it's pretty ugly at the moment. Uh, but I guess I'll just uh, chill out here, work on some more things. So uh, I will see you guys in the next episode.